Hey friends, welcome to another Sunday with Sarah. I'm Sarah Baldwin, Waldorf early childhood teacher, an author, and the owner of Bella Luna Toys. And today I'm going to share with you a secret for how to improve your child's mood, behavior, and IQ. It's simple and it's free. And I think it's going to surprise you. But before I get into today's topic, I just want to thank you all for watching and for your wonderful comments. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And I invite you to subscribe to the Sunday with Sarah YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. And if you click on the little bell icon, you'll be notified anytime I post a new video. So what is the secret to improving your child's school performance, IQ, and mood? Well, it's napping. And napping is not just for babies and toddlers, and it's not just for preschoolers. I'm going to talk to you about new research that proves that napping is really beneficial for kids up to 10, 11, 12 years old. Um, but first, as a Waldorf Early Childhood teacher, we know how important it is for young children to take naps. Uh, over the years, my experience as an early childhood teacher, I would uh, have a lot of discussions with parents. They were worried if their child took a nap at school or in our aftercare program that the child wouldn't sleep at night. But we could see over and over, year after year, many, many children, um, the, the change in behavior and calmness uh, when children do take an afternoon nap. And I would say to you, an afternoon nap is so important for toddlers and preschoolers. And if you have a rhythm to your day, and if you have a nap early enough, right after lunch, uh, and you have a regular bedtime, once the child gets into that rhythm, and if you have a, a ritual, a rhythm that, that's the same every day that leads up through meal time and bath time and bedtime, your child will get into a pattern of, sleep, of, of being able to sleep at night even if they've had a nap. I believe it's really, really important. But the new research comes from the University of Pennsylvania um, they did a study of nearly 3,000 fourth, fifth, and sixth graders ages 10 to 12 that revealed a connection between midday napping and greater happiness, self-control, and grit, fewer behavioral problems, and higher IQ, the latter particularly for sixth graders. And the, rom the most uh, remarkable findings were associated with academic achievement. I'm going to post the link to the article. You can read the whole article by clicking the link below. Um, but it also goes on to talk about how in uh, China the practice is regularly embedded into daily life and napping continues through elementary school, middle school, and even adulthood. And if you think about a lot of uh, European countries and Latin American countries that <coughs> Excuse me. Take a break after after lunch and midday. Have a siesta. Um, stores will close and they'll reopen in the mid afternoon, and they're open a little bit later. This article goes on to suggest that that schools incorporate a rest time into the day and maybe add on an hour or two at the end of the day. It's food for thought, but I think it's really important information to know and to have and a really simple and free way to improve your child's happiness, IQ, and academic performance. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment below. Let me know too if your child still has a nap time, how old they are, or what challenges you find in incorporating a nap into your days. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.